have you ever been working in data in ArcGIS Pro and had a whole bunch of data that you wanted to do the same thing to it, but you didn't want to do it um, by hand or manually for every data set? Well, in this video, I am going to walk you through a really quick way to develop a model builder model or automation in which you can take all of your data that's located in one folder and do the same thing to it. In this example, I will be taking a folder that has OpenStreetMap data and clipping it to a buffer of the town that I live in. That way I don't have to pull in data for the entire state of Illinois. Hi, if we haven't met before, my name is Juliana McMillan Wilhoyt and I call myself a cartographer of change for both people and organizations. I am oh so passionate about helping geospatial professionals create and map a career that they love. And I'm really passionate about working with community-driven organizations and community-based organizations to help them leverage geospatial technology and mapping in the work that they do. And so in this quick video, I uh, am going to walk you through a process that I use to help make my data a little bit more manageable. And I would really love it if you find this video helpful, if you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, or give me a comment down below. That is really helpful for me to know what sort of content is helpful for me to continue making for you. So let's get into our tutorial and our walkthrough today. So what we have is I am using ArcGIS Pro. And in ArcGIS Pro, uh, there is the Model Builder tool, which maybe you are familiar with, or maybe you aren't. And Model Builder is a really great way to um, create automation for your work, for you to, without having to use Python or, any, or anything else, to say, you know, to, to do analysis and to have it be something that's repeatable. And so I'm going to walk you through really quickly how you can create that. So in ArcGIS Pro, uh, every project come, it creates this folder um, and it is named the same thing as your project. So for me, this project is called Lake County Understanding. So you'll see right here, this little toolbox uh, and that, that it ends in .tbx. If I right click on that, I can go to new model. So that's what we're going to do right now. And it uh, defaults to being called uh, model one. And we are just going to go to properties here and the name, it can't have any spaces or underscores in it. So we're just gonna call this um, clipping data video. You can call it whatever you want. We're just gonna call this example of clipping data in model builder. All right, and then if I right click and if I refresh, it should, it should refresh and we should see the right names. But my computer's being special right now and it's not. So that's okay. So what we're going to do now is we are going to take the data that we have and we're going to now put it into this model builder workflow. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I have a buffer of Grays Lake, Illinois, and I'm going to drag that right here um, into my model builder canvas. If you don't have a buffer or if you don't have a shape or something that you're, you're trying to, to clip to, totally fine. You can actually do that within the model. Um, but I have, right, the, and so the goal for what I'm trying to do here is take this OpenStreetMap data, which is for the entire state of Illinois, and clip it down to just being a uh, three mile, within three miles of Grays Lake, Illinois. So I have that, that buffer. And then I also have a folder that is called OSM for OpenStreetMap. I'm just going to take that and drag it in. So that would be your folder of data. I'm then going to go up to the top of the screen where it says Model Builder, and I want to go to Iterators. I want to go to Iterate Feature Selection. So, nope, I do not want to go to Iterate Feature Selection. I want to go to Iterate Feature Classes. So Iterate Feature Classes uh, iterates or goes through every single feature class that is in your folder. So I, um, what I love about Model Builder is that it's drag and drop and that it's just about connecting things. So if I drag this over here, so I, I have my uh, left, my left uh, mouse down and I'm going to connect there and I'm going to say that I want that to be the workspace or feature data set. 
And so now what you can see is if we hover over, we can see that it's pulling in that the name is that first one, the OSM buildings. And then this, we get the full feature class. We get that full file path. So that feature class or what's green is the output and this name or the blue, this is a variable. And that's going to be very important in a minute. So now we have our open street maps and we're saying, go through every single feature class in this file. And so if I were to actually go here and click run, you're seeing here that it's, it's iterating through and that, um, you know, we have, we're, we're, we're going through um, every single uh, feature class that is in that folder. We're not doing anything to it because there isn't a, um, there's no process that's happening. But that where, where before it was um, the buildings, I believe, and now we're at water because it's worked its way through every single file in there. So, so we know that something has happened. Then I'm gonna go back over here to geoprocessing and I'm going to drag clip in. Now you could do something like a select layer by location. I'm not doing that because um, that just takes a lot more time to run than something like a clip. And so what I want here is I can either double click on this to see what the inputs are. So my input features, um, but I, in my mind, it's just easier for me to do the drag and drop. So I'm going to say that the clip, those are going to be my clip features. Um, this feature class, those are the input features. So that's what I want to clip. And so we have um, clip and then we have our output feature class. But we need to actually change a few things. So if you go into your clip, you'll see that this is the output feature class. And this is not a, um, a name. This, every time you run this, it will name all the files the same thing. And that's not going to work particularly well for us because we have a bunch of different files and we, we actually want to have them. We don't want them to all be called the same thing. So in this folder here, I'm going to actually create a new folder and I'm just going to call this Clips to Gray's Lake. And it's going to take a second here. It always makes me fear that my pro is crashing. It is not, but a great reminder for you to save your work. And we are just going to copy this file path and take a moment to save our work. Now, uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put the output feature class, right? So we have the file path, and then I'm going to do backslash and this part I'm, is just what I always do. I always do underscore. You don't technically have to do an underscore. And then I'm going to do percent sign name percent sign. You must have that percent sign name percent sign dot SHP. And that percent sign name percent sign relates to this name right here, which is the feature class name. And so what's great about that is that it's going to change every time we run this through, right? The first time this was buildings and now this is water. And so that means that when we run this, every feature class will have the correct name. So I just want to show you here, I actually already ran this. You can see here that the, the output name, I put underscore name, right? Underscore percent sign name percent sign dot SHP. So you can see I have this underscore and then it's the name. And so all of these are, are, are now clipped and it's just so much easier and faster for me to pull into what I'm doing. But if we wanted to run this, we would just click run up here and then it would run through our, um, our it would run, clip everything, and put it in that, that new folder for us. So there's a bunch of different things that you can do within ArcGIS Pro and within Model Builder. I actually have a whole training on Model Builder, um, which you can shoot me an email about to get more information about when I will be doing that next. But uh, getting great at Model Builder is a fantastic way for you to level up your career as a geospatial analyst. Let me know what questions you have. I'm really grateful for you and I'm rooting and cheering for you.